are back here, counter-rotation training. My man, Joe Camisa, doctor of physical therapy, one of our uh, advisors on our training advisory committee. My son, William, who's grown up through the Parisi Speed School. We're talking about chops and lifts today. Something I've done throughout my entire career as a javelin thrower, high-level javelin thrower. And what's interesting, when I did these 20 years ago, plus 25 years ago, I was actually doing them incorrectly. I was rotating at the spine, and hopefully I won't get arthritis uh, around the spine when I get older. But with all the latest research Dr. McGill has brought out, which is still relatively new, it's only about 10 years old, on the importance to, to not rotate at the spine, to use the hips, especially when we do exercises like this, such as lifts and chops. We're gonna go over the intricacies of the technique today. Joe, talk to us about this motion, why it's important to really lock the the ribs to the pelvis and, and really all the benefits that, that this provides. So like Bill was saying, the, the chop and the lifts are really athletic movements. They translate to a lot of sports as well as daily life and, and function and things you do just you know, to get through the day. Um, so we really do want to train these movement patterns. Allowing you to not move the spine puts a lot less load on the back because there's so much load with rotation so you can train longer for more years without have suffering injury. So. We're going to have well demonstrated. We're going to have put them in the position here. It's so very important you want to square up with the band. So you can do this with a cable or a band. Um, so hands are going to be right in front, chest, hands right in front of the chest. He's looking at the band the whole time. And he's going to pivot about his feet, lock the ribs to the pelvis, and rotate at the hips. Yep, and then you can come back. Good. So he's yeah. looking at the band the whole time, squaring up with it. Now what's nice about this, and when Joe's coaching Will up on this one, you can see how the resistance increases as he comes away uh, with, the, with the turn as he rotates. But he's going very, very slow and controlled. And you can have your athletes lined up, you know, five or six across athletes and coach them all up. And when you coach this, this is so important because this is athleticism. Just like arm action or leg recovery mechanics, we want to teach this this rotational movement at the hips and not at the spine. Now, that was the lift. Talk to us about the chop and the difference between the two, and it's important actually to do both. So the, the chop and lift are both the same movement pattern, except the, the lift you're pulling from below, the chop you're pulling from above. You wanna do both because you're getting a little bit different muscle activation, both in the obliques and in the shoulders. It's different from when you're pulling above or below, so you, gotta, you have to train both, but um, they both can be done with a cable or a band. Yep. Now reps and sets important. This is a pretty intense exercise. This is, you know, almost like a foundation exercise in the Parisi Speed School from a from a teaching standpoint, but also can be used as a finisher, you know, to, to get the core. So you can almost throw this exercise in, in, in any section, maybe except the warm-up. I, I don't know if this is probably wouldn't be a warm-up exercise, but talk to us about reps and sets and how you would program something like this in for athletes. Well, it depends on the goal, so if I was looking for power, you know, I might do lower reps, like six and two to four sets of that. If I'm looking for more endurance, I'd go higher, 12, 15 reps. Yep. So six to, to 15 reps, obviously different level cables, or I should say uh, bands, if you're using cables, different weights for different athletes. But most of our athletes will be probably using bands along the wall, hooked in with five or six, you get that set up. A lot of the stuff you can get, obviously, from Perform Better. But what a great way to strengthen the core, but again, to really teach technique. The Parisi Speed School is about teaching technique. This counter-rotation technique with chops and lifts and all the things we've been doing this month is really uh, a way to improve the technical aptitude of our athletes to make them better kickers, better throwers, better hitters. You know, all that stuff is important, not only to run faster, but to improve all sports skills. So again, when you're coaching your athletes, explain this stuff to them, how this is gonna improve the other skills that they're performing in their sports. Because they're gonna get excited about that, they're gonna get better, and doing this all consistently, they're gonna run faster, and that is our goal.